Hey guys, welcome to our channel Soko Journey. Which episode? I think it's 14. <laughs> you need to... Hey guys, welcome to our channel Soko's Journey. So, uh <laughs> These days I'm so much busy to my choreography and hair's like wedding season so Courtney is so much mad like I'm not giving her like time so finally today I make her time for her today is my Sunday and I have my class after to her so I woke up early and today we're going to shoot something so how are you Courtney? Good I've been missing you yeah I miss you too Oh my god, Pancho, go. <laughs> Hi, Pancho. Okay, so uh, the good news is Courtney is coming. Can I say right now? Okay, guys, so here is one good news. And finally, she is coming in next year. So I'm so much excited to greeting her and she very excited to meet my family so let's see yeah so the plan is to come there early next year um both of my um plans that i made the last two years to go there got canceled because of visa suspensions because of covid so hopefully this new like variant or new variants like don't get out of control and visas don't get suspended again. They just opened up last month. And so um, I'm planning for an early trip next year. And we are so much excited and welcome to India, Courtney. I'm sorry, I've not give you like so much time for these days. And thanks for your very understanding. And I really like these things. You understand everything. So this is good for us and for future and we also just wanted to talk about a little like how do you fit a long distance relationship giving each other attention and time when you're both working full time um you have other priorities um and you have other responsibilities like it gets tough um so we just kind of wanted to share how we kind of make this work and keep it alive and find time for each other so yeah this is a very correct topic at point like if you want to talk and also you can manage the time i know i'm so much busy like but i can manage the time like for only for five minutes but these five minutes only for the courtney like night time when i come my house um, 11 it's so late I'm so much tired and I called me take lunch time. It's like called me 12 o'clock. It's my 1 30 like night at you can say morning my 1 30 morning uh, So it's very hard to because I'm so much tired. I want to sleep But I manage the time Courtney lunch is like one hour But I give the half an hour time and this half an hour we talk what we do how's the day what's new then uh, my night time, I just call Courtney for one minute, say like, good morning, Courtney. And we are like very real this month talk. But I'm so happy we are understand this situation and and what? And that's it. <laughs> so pretty much, um, obviously our um, relationship depends a lot on FaceTime and phone calls. Well, pretty much just FaceTime. So, um... Yeah, when I take a break at work, I, you know, he gets that 10 minutes. Uh, you know, when I take a lunch, we talk then. Um, I get home, I have to, you know, do other things. Um, but, you know, right about the time my day is like winding down with my chores at home, he's waking up and then we get to talk, you know, while he gets ready and, um, you know, as he's kind of waking up and um, I get to wish his mom good morning. And uh, so we get his morning as well until I fall asleep or until he has to go to class or go to um, work with his clients. And so, um, yeah, just because he's doing his school, you know, he's teaching at a school now 
and um, it's wedding season. It's It's been pretty busy, but you know, any free time we do have, we, you know, spend time with each other. Yeah, and the, <laughs> and the main things like the night time when I'm talking with Courtney and I'm saying, Courtney, listen, I have my classes 11 o'clock. Please book me up in my nine o'clock so we can book talk one hour. I give you one hour. She's still calling me like 30 times, 40 times. <laughs> And when I woke up, I give the five five minutes and I'm saying, Kati, give me more 10 minutes. I want to sleep 10 minutes. And then I'm sleep. <laughs> I woke up so late. Then she's so much mad that time. But she understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I know. I call him a lot and he goes, 20 more minutes or half an hour. And then sometimes he sleeps for like an hour longer and then we don't get any time. But he does go to sleep late because, you know, we're talking at his night time and you know, he does have stuff to do before class now with weddings and the school. So I understand he's very busy. And she has so much time. She making soap, <laughs> new, new food. <laughs> and I need to manage the time, but it's good. And I'm like happy and my address attraction is so going on like more and more and more. It's not like we are not talking so much. So we are little distant, but like it's not happening. We are more touch each other, we are planning and Courtney trying more and more new things and I really like these things. So as you guys know, it's Christmas time here um, and this year, so every year at Christmas I like to do a project to make presents. So I'm making my co-workers soaps for Christmas with like dried flowers in them and stuff. So that's kind of... Um, takes up a lot of time too. Um, so like I said, just because of the holidays, it's a lot busier on my side of the world too. And uh, I invite her before month for the date, virtual date. Uh, but I can't manage the time. She's saying, when all day? When all day? When all day? Like still this time, this 15, this 20, it's going on, going on. But promise you before Christmas, we are going to date and I'm going to show you guys some pictures and little videos how we celebrate our virtual date and this is really nice to know more each other. I think a virtual dates are very important in our relationship because um, sometimes when we're talking it's like I'm scarfing down lunch or he's like getting ready so our time is like kind of divided and um, we're not just like sitting down and, and you know giving each other our full attention so it's like when we plan out a date it's like, you know, we dress up, we decorate, um, what you've seen, you know, we'll eat together, um, really just have that one-on-one -on -one time, which is what we don't always get, like, you know, during the week when we're so busy and um, talking, but like doing other things at the same time. So that's why dates are important because we all need that like one-on-one -on -one time to like reconnect, refocus, um, and show each other love. Baby, I had a question for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm scared. When you saying I have question for you, that I'm really scared. <laughs> what? Okay, so the our last episode, it was just me, and I kind of told everybody the reasons why I trust you. Um, so I wanted to circle back around and ask you, what are some reasons that you trust some woman you've never met on the other side of the world, you know? How did this happen and how do you trust me? Why do you trust me? First thing, I love you and uh, I talked to you in two years and uh, I know you better. You're not going to do anything bad in my back and this is my trust and i really proud and I never think negative, never. And don't ask me this question, that my mind going to be things, so please. <laughs> I really trust you hundred and like one thousand percent and you are different and you are like I trust you so much and I know you never hurt me. So we're a part of this group on Facebook called Long Distance Relationships and it's really a great support group for us because you know there's thousands of members and relationships from people in all parts of the world and it's great to talk about our struggles and you know advice and stuff like that and um something we see on there a lot is like 
people not making time for each other and I think it's just way ridiculous because if you love somebody you definitely make them a priority whether they're here or there you know um, obviously it's it's easier when you know you're living with somebody to make them a priority and find time with for them but you know if you're living in different continents um, even different states um, you know it's definitely um, harder to find time for each other but it's definitely possible and me and Sarva are a great example like you said we both work full-time we both do so much stuff like on our free time but we never forget to find time for each other we never um, you know we never let ourselves um, make the other person like less of a priority um, than they were like before we got busy so you know if someone really cares about you and loves you and um, you're important to them they will definitely find time like there's no excuses um, we have a billion excuses why we you know don't have time for each other but we don't want to we want to you know talk at any chance we get and you know we really make that happen so um, yeah and you know the best part when Courtney doing this thing? Just see guys. Courtney, come on. Come. Come here. Come here. <laughs> and I want to show you guys something. So I told you like, um, we don't have so much time to talk, but Courtney make me happy and happy. So the first point is, you can see this, the, here's a Courtney. Here's Saurabh. So it's sort of, if you turn, has a cult name. You see? Okay, so the best thing, I really like this thing. Okay, so yeah, the same thing. When I received this, I'm so much happy, like, oh my God. So Courtney know better how to make happy and I'm trying to and I promised the Courtney before Christmas she received one very big surprise. Uh, I'm I'm trying. I'm so back in October we got two new members of the family. This is Shadow and this is Charlie. They are four months old now? Almost four months old? Yeah, four months. Panta doesn't like them. But here they are. They're my babies. Yeah. You know what, guys? In future, Courtney have very big animal house, right? I really love Courtney. Love animals. She have two cats, two rabbits, one dog, one hamster, and sometimes new guests come too. So she greeting her or him, right? The possum that always comes and visits us. I named her Scarlet. Right. So they are family. Pancho, Sebastian, Gustavo, Charlie, Sado, and Pikachu. Right? Wow! <laughs> so Courtney, you come. And I know you really like my city because my city is so much beautiful in the world. Trust me, you really like my city. And Courtney, now you please start to learn Hindi too. Okay. Okay. Namaste. I just really. Yeah, you were only saying Namaste. <laughs> and and what? Catch you up. Catch you up. Oh my God! You start learning. <laughs> it's good. So, I just hope or after one month or few months, our video is going to be Hindi language, all video. <laughs> Why not? <gasps> you have to. Yeah, you are going to marry with the Indian guys, so you have to learn Hindi language too. Okay, okay guys, we are going to meet your next episode, maybe the surprise episode or the Christmas episode. So, stay tuned and thanks for supporting. Be happy and trust your partner, make your partner happy and take care. Okay guys, bye. Love you.